Hi, this is a video of a handheld internet device or mobile internet device built around an OMAP3 Beagle board. It, the Beagle board itself is completely unmodified with the exception the headers were added at the factory allowed locations for the LCD interface and the expansion board. The expansion board there adds, inter, adds capabilities like a battery charger, a power supply so you can run it from a lithium ion battery. It also has some uh, additional border translation things like for example it has an interface to the touch screen. It also has the connections for the different uh, input buttons that's provided on here. We have your usual three-way input there. You go left, right, press it in. There's a button for regular input. There's also three additional buttons on the side there. You can define them in software to do pretty much anything. There's the usual five-way thing that you see on other devices there, left, right. All of the usual I.O. on the Beagle board is completely unhindered in this whole setup there. We can see the USB port on top there, next right next to the MMC slot there. And we look on the side, we see the MUSB fully accessible. And looking at the bottom, we can see the HDMI or specific the DVI out using the HDMI connector. We see the S-Video port. We also have the usual uh, audio in and out. This device here took about maybe two weeks to build up there. Most of the time was spent dealing with the mechanicals. The mechanicals include the case, which is entirely CNC machine there on a, a small mill there. The application here I'm running is something based on that Angstrom demo image. It's just some run of mill thing. Nothing special was really made to customize there. And we could use the five way. We could actually run something. Let's try, say, for example, lights out there. This application, we should see the touch screen in action. Nothing fancy. It's your basic touch screen application. The nice thing about this simple thing is that it's a quick and easy way to prototype either software or hardware. For example, you want to build a PDA or if you actually want a custom device, a one-off there. It's reasonably inexpensive based on the parts. The CNC machining is great for low volume or prototyping there. Obviously, you wouldn't want to CNC a million of these units there, but for quick prototyping, this is great. Right now, the setup is that I'm running it off AC power, but there's no reason why you can't run off lithium-ion battery. I have actually the full connectors inside there. I just don't have it currently populated at the moment. There's no reason why a battery can't be put in there. This is uh, your basic setup there. And if, if you're interested, please go to my website there and I actually have more details there. And if you actually are interested in building one yourself there, I could certainly be available to help you do a building there. Maybe possibly use modified versions of my boards. The interface here is uh, that I use for LCD. It's uh, very straightforward. It's your typical uh, voltage converter. It converts from the one point volt on the Beagle side to the voltage required. In this case, this is a uh, Y quarter VGA. It actually takes 2.5 volts. There are other wide quarter VGA screens that run off 3.3. So depending on what screen you have, you might have to use a different voltage regulator. So it's a simple modification.